Hello and welcome back to my channel. So it was brought to my attention that Olivia Rodrigo has a new boyfriend named Adam Faze. According to someone who commented on my video that I made yesterday reacting to secrets, they said that he was 24 years old, which is pretty old. So I think that's a little weird. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that because this video is not about her new relationship, but her old one. So today I'm gonna be reacting to another song of Joshua's called Crisis. I'm pretty sure that this is about Olivia. I'm pretty much on the neutral side. Like I don't really have any sides. I love Olivia and I think Joshua is also very talented. I think it's important to hear both sides of the story because there's three sides to every story. The truth, his side, her side. We'll never know, but it's entertaining. And that's why I wanna talk about it and I wanna watch it and I wanna dive into it and just give my opinion about it, so. Who said you never waste a crisis? And here I am, guitar in my hand, in the middle of one. Yeah, honestly, I feel like because of Olivia's popularity, her fans are pretty young. I feel like they kind of feel like it's in their hands to kind of bash Joshua. Even though, like I said before, I don't think Olivia's songs were made to send hate to Joshua, but to release her feelings. And I, I do actually really feel bad for the things that he went through. And he said in an article that I read that people would be like, if I ever saw him on the streets, I'd kill him. And he was basically saying that he was genuinely scared to walk the streets of New York because of that. Wow. First of all, those lyrics are pretty deep, but also why does it look like he's not even moving his mouth when he's singing that? He's like, Look like I didn't love you. But don't you dare act like I didn't love you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean to him. I love him. And like I said before, I'm supporting both artists. Okay. Honestly, I know he's saying like, I don't know why you would, wouldn't do something and make it end. I, I think she has said something along the lines of like, hey, don't send any hate. Mm -hmm. thoughts on the song i actually like secret better than i like this song but i do think the song is more raw more emotion i feel like um secret was more like a kind of like a scandalous like digger deep and i feel like this one's just very raw it's like you know what like you really hurt me don't try to act like i didn't actually feel the same way and it feels like you're profiting off of me off of stories that are half true is what he said so I actually really like this song, but I obviously don't like it as much as Secret. I feel like this one is less discreet as like Secret. I feel like it just left a lot of like questions while this song is just very like, okay, I understand what you're trying to say. And that's all I really have to say about it. So yeah, we just dive it in. Nothing to say will ease the pain. Hmm. I, oh, that... Nothing I say will ease the pain. That part? It was so like sweet and like, I don't know, it kind of gave me chills. Like, why must I hurt for you to feel okay? You don't get to take out of me. Set me free. This one's pretty. This is giving me like straight up Harry Styles vibes. I'm not gonna lie. Those harmonies on set me free. I actually don't know how it goes. Mm. 
I could tell he probably has a really good relationship with his mom because this is like the second time he's actually brought up his mom and I actually kind of love that. That's a green flag. Oh. I feel like I obviously, I know it's apparent to me, but I don't think it's probably apparent to a lot of Olivia stands that he obviously still cared about her. It's the fact that when driver's license came out and everyone knew that it was about him, the blonde girl was Sabrina, he still like posted about it on his Instagram, like being like, it's a great song. And I just feel so bad for him. And honestly, I love this song for him because I feel like it really is like a, like a freeing song, it's like heard all the songs. I'm really proud of him for, like he said, this crisis into music. Honestly, I'm I'm really in love with this song and then Secret, I'm not really a fan of Crisis. Okay. I actually really loved that song, I'm not gonna lie. So I want you to leave a comment on what you thought about the songs, all three of them. If you liked them, if you hate them, if you hate him, if you hate Olivia, like what is your point? For me, I don't hate either of them. I think they're both hurting in different ways. I loved Olivia's album and I love, I like the two songs out of the three I heard. Like I said, I'm a real big fan of Secret and Set Me Free. But yeah, those are just my opinions. Anyway. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button and click that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.